Hey everyone, Dr. Nasi from Easy DOT Physicals back again with another video. This is another drug testing video. As I've been pumping out drug testing videos, it seems like very, very frequently because, because I've been getting a lot of questions and a lot of confusion about different methods and what we're looking for and what can cause you to test positive, so on and so forth. So I'm doing another one today. And today I'm gonna give you five things that you can do to give yourself the best chance for passing a drug test if potentially you have used an illegal substance prior to taking your drug test. Now these are not going to be foolproof, but these are the method, methods that I recommend that you do before going in to take your drug test that will give you the best chance of passing again if you have used an illegal substance leading up to the test. All right, and the very first thing and the easiest thing that you can do to maximize your chance for passing your drug test if you've used an illegal substance leading up to that test is to stop using that substance for the appropriate amount of time before the test. If you have a test date coming up, I've done a number of different videos on how long different substances stay in your system. Marijuana is different from opiates, is different from amphetamines and so on and so forth. And it's different if you're having a urine test done as opposed to a hair test. So check out one of those videos and all you need to do is wait the appropriate amount of time. Now again, this won't guarantee Guarantee it. There's a lot of factors there as I go over in those videos, but being clean and having it out of your system is, is probably the easiest and best way to pass that drug test. All right, and number two, another easy, easy thing that you can do is home test. So you can get very accurate home tests. I will actually leave a description. I will leave in the description box below my preferred home drug test. Very, very accurate. Again, I can't guarantee you 100% if you pass the home test that you're going to pass the official test, but it gives you a really good idea. There's really no excuses here. If you don't home test before and you're concerned about something showing up on the test and you go in blind not knowing and then you test positive I mean really that falls back on you you could have home tested first and known uh, if you were going to pass or not so please it's very cheap it's simple it's easy you do it in the privacy of your own home it gives you the result like that right away so just home test before going in for leading up to the drug test and you'll have a pretty good idea if you're gonna pass that drug test or not all right, uh, number three, again, these are very, very simple things that you can do, but keep yourself hydrated. Now, I don't mean overly hydrated. You're not chugging gallons of water because that can dilute your sample and that can be an issue as well. But it's typically re recommended that you get about two, uh, maybe three liters of fluid water. Plain water is best per day. So if you just keep yourself hydrated leading up to that test, that just keeps your metabolism running. It flushes things through your system. It helps speed up that process of getting things out of your system and through your system. So keep yourself hydrated. Now, again, it's very important and I'm going to make uh, this statement again I, I briefly did just a second ago but don't overly hydrate do not chug gallons gallons of water leading up to your test thinking that's just gonna flush all of the metabolites through and you're gonna test negative because that again can dilute your sample and that can be an issue as well so keep yourself hydrated two to three liters a day is plenty Okay, fourth on the list, unfortunately, again, I've done videos um, on this in the past, is don't rely on a detox to help you pass the drug test. Again, I have not read any valid, credible research on specific detoxes and whether they help you pass drug tests for specific drugs. So I wouldn't put any credibility in any specific detox. Like if you're really, really nervous, you've got a drug test coming up, I would, I would say the best method would be stop using the drug rather than use the drug up until the test and then just use a detox to try to get it out of your system. Now I've heard reports, I've heard things in comments from people saying that the detoxes work, but I can't give you any valid, credible research, scientific evidence that says that any particular um, detox will be effective at removing metabolites from your system before a drug test. I wish I could. I would give you that information um, if it was out there. So don't rely on detoxes or any other substances to clear your system before the drug test. That's number four. All right, and finally, and this is something that we, the collectors, the sample collectors are gonna be looking 
for before you even go in to give your sample is don't bring a whole bunch of excessive items with you. It's just unnecessary. Don't give us the opportunity to think that you're bringing something in that you're trying to use to alter the sample. Think of things like little bottles of mouthwash. You know, if you take that in with you to give your sample and you can put it into the specimen, I don't know why you would do that. It's not a good idea, but people have been known to do that. Things like eyedropper bottles. Just don't bring that stuff with you and it won't give us any reason to think that you're potentially trying to alter your sample. Now, some uh, collectors are more sticklers than others, but you don't wanna get in with somebody that's really looking hard or maybe they just had somebody that's uh, tried to alter their sample using eye drops or something like that, and then you come in with eye drops just because um, you know your eyes are sore or dry or whatever the case may be, and then they really crack down on you. So just don't bring that stuff with you. All right, I hope that was very, very helpful and useful. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I do respond to the comments and make sure you stay subscribed here. Whenever the FMCSA or any other agency changes the drug testing standards, I will make update videos. All right, everybody, take care.